Hello, this is Joanna with your message of the day from Pep Inspire Incorporated. Experts describe it as a complex emotional reaction, felt by people dwelling in isolation. Sufferers sometimes cannot explain what they are feeling, as loneliness possess their being. Why, oh why, is this disease so pervasive among so vast a population, what is the explanation for this strange phenomenon we are seeing? The family structure is cracked and broken, and we seem to be losing our mind. Emailing, texting and tweeting have replaced good old-fashioned conversating. Instead of loving, caring, bosom friends, we've settled for the Facebook kind. And spend the best part of our day posting, streaming and FaceTiming. We've forsaken our creator and dislodged our spiritual mooring. Now devoid of all bearing, we spend our life drifting, searching for true meaning by carousing, feasting and lusting, and end up frustrated, depressed and still wanting. Singles are prone to loneliness, since companionship is often a need. It is not fun to cook, eat, and sleep all by our lonely self. But singles can beat loneliness if to this greed they give heed, that, no man is an island, entire of itself. Wives can be lonely too, when companionship is lacking, because the man they marry does not do much talking. His home is his castle, and he behaves like he's a king, the TV is his mistress and he doesn't do a thing. Then there is the survivor, whose spouse is dead and gone, and they are left to run the race and face life all alone. The children have a life of their own, and time is scarce as gold, so, time with them is but a dream, after they leave the fold. Now if we want to cure this strange phenomenon, we must seek after God with humility and submission, and find true satisfaction by modeling our mothers in loving and serving and caring for others.